Hi everyone, welcome back. Stay tuned, got a great video for you. Welcome back everyone. Happy Monday and happy nail of the week and happy first nail look of the year. I am excited. But for starters, if you're new to my channel, go ahead right down there and hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell underneath it so you are notified of all of my uploads. Definitely share around my channel so it can grow bigger because I do teach keto and I do it for free. If you're in my Angels Heavenly Nails uh, channel, down below is linked my Keep It Keto. I do load the nails, the toes, and the Fashion Friday in that channel as well. So if you'd like to learn about keto, and get healthy since I've been doing it for over four years and was taught by professionals. I'd love to teach you. So shoot yourself over to there and subscribe to that channel. If you are in my uh, Keep It Keto channel and would like to just see the nails, toes, and fashion, then I do have Angels Heavenly Nails linked down below there. Um, please, please share around my channel though. Like I said, it helps it to grow and helps me to help many people get their life back. I'm in the thousands for helping people, but I want to help many more. Especially with this virus going around, we need to be as healthy as possible and I want to get everybody healthy, healthy, healthy so we can live long lives and avoid viruses like this. Also, if you loved this nail of the week, this first, first spring look, please shoot me a thumbs up because it makes me smile, it makes me happy, and makes my channel grow. Now, let me show you my first nail of the week done for my first spring look. Isn't that gorgeous and stunning? I love it. Love the French tips with the flowers and the greenery. And then, of course, those accent glitter nails. Now, I was a little unsure about that orange. I was thinking that orange was more for fall or, or uh, winter. But nope, the outfit I got, I bought it last year right after summer. And I've been so excited to wear it. But I had to wait till spring hit. I don't even know. It could be even a summer outfit because it's spaghetti strap. But it is so cute and adorable. And it's done in that orange color. So it has to be a spring or summer look so that color definitely does fit for that i just would think for spring it would be more pastels and i will be doing a lot of pastel looks for the spring so don't worry but i love the way this one turned out i hope you guys love it for the first look and i'll be going on to my toe designs on wednesday now because it's spring and i'll be wearing more open toe designs so now i'll be wearing a beautiful toe look that'll match with these nails and i've had a few uh, request from a few people that I show my shoe collection. So I think in my toe videos, what I'm going to do is one or two pairs, not two, two or three pairs, I'm sorry, of my shoe collection at the end of each video. I'm thinking I'm going to add that in. Just walking, you know, back and forth showing you guys my shoes. Now, I won't really do the boots because you guys got to see a lot of those for the winter looks, but my shoes will be open toe, closed toe sandals, all of that. I'll be doing like two or three pairs in each video so you guys get a chance to see my collection, even though I show it in all my videos when I do them, but I have so many pairs that you guys haven't even gotten to see half of them. So I will be adding that in, hopefully, and I hope you guys will enjoy that. And then, of course, wait for Fashion Friday's first spring look. I am excited. I hope all of you guys are doing well. Stay safe. Take precaution. Wash your hands. Stay away from big groups. Don't go around people that are sick. You know, keep yourself in the house as much as possible. Do get out and get fresh air, but try to stay away from, you know, big crowds. Just be safe. Believe in God and trust God that he is there and to fear not for he is with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. I know I read that verse a lot, but it's my favorite. And just remember, he's going to get you through anything if you trust him. And there's nothing we can do anyways. So just live your life and be happy. Now, everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Let's start this first beautiful spring nail design. Hi everyone! So here's what I chose to go with for my very first spring look. A beautiful orange French design with glitter accent nails, pink flowers, greenery, and rhinestones. 
you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Nail of the Week. I am super excited. I am starting my very first spring look. The spring nails and then I will be also doing my toe designs again. So I'm excited about that. And then of course Fashion Friday will coincide and match with the whole look of the nails and the toes. Now as you see here I've got this beautiful orange done on the nails. And it's done with French tips. I did them at like an angle. And then I did my ring fingers a solid orange. And yeah, maybe not really truly a spring color. But when you see the outfit, the outfit is all spring. And it's actually got that color in it. So let me show you what I'm using in today's design. So first off, you see I've got some of them done French with that sheer pink and done with an angle French, and then, of course, my solid nails. That is this color right here, and it was an Avon one, and it's called uh, Silk Cocoa is the name. It is beautiful. I love it, and you see it on the nails here. Now, the lines don't have to be perfect because we're going to be doing art over it, so you see I kind of messed up on that pinky one. Don't worry about it, and I chipped it out a little bit right there. I'm going to just kind of fill that in, but there's the color I used right there. That's from Avon. Uh, the sheer part I made, and I'm using my pink one, this one I used 30 drops into a clear bottle of this Kiss Gel that was clear. I think it is a base coat, might be a top coat, I'm not sure. Uh, a little on the thicker side, so it might be the top coat. But I mixed in 20 drops of the baby pink that I got from the Kiss Gel, also from Dollar Tree, and made my own sheer. And I love it, absolutely love it. And then I topped everything off with the Dry Fast Seshvi Top Coat I get from Sally's. And then I'm working with acrylic paints. And here's what I've got here. I have got black and a green. And it was just by Americana, just called the Festive Green. And then I mixed in the black. And I also mixed in this Americana called Beige or Oyster. Mix that in because I need that green to kind of be like a... Uh, pine green or a sage green but have creams running through it and then of course the black is just black by apple barrel the um, americanas i got from joanne fabrics i think i paid a buck for them the other ones are 50 cents at walmart here's the white i mixed in and i've also got a beautiful candy pink and i did that one there um, mixing it with some cream in that as well and then i did the white mixing it to make it a cream color because i need it to be cream you'll see as i go along and then on my solid nails i'm going to use this micro glitter here that is exactly the same color orange and make it really sparkly i want that nail to be really sparkly and blingy so i'm going to go over that with this glitter leaving that nail just a solid glitter i believe Maybe I'll do art over it, but I'm not sure. I'm going to mix it with the textile medium. Got the idea from Robin Moses. Got this from Michaels. Eight full ounces. It was like $9 with the 40% off, and it was like a little over $5. This will last forever. And that's how I mix my glitters now because they last and last and last on the tray. Um, if you mix it with like clear polishes, they dry and get thick and everything. But they last on the tray, and then, of course, they don't, um, you know, you, you get to work with it longer and you know, but on your nails, when you put on your nails, it dries quicker. Sorry, got a little tongue tied there. Um, I will be working with Robin Moses's brush. You can order it, robinmosesnailart.com. It's called The Wand. This is her um, liner, and she also has a striper, and the striper is called The Unicorn. Beautiful brushes. They are $10 a piece, or if you order both of them, they are 18 for two, and the shipping is wonderful. Definitely order her brushes. They're red sable hair and beautiful. Keep them dirty in between. Um, and clean them with 100%, you know, elk, or I'm sorry, 100% acetone. And as you clean it, just go like this and roll it. Don't pull it. Don't put anything over the top and pull it. Don't do that because it'll ruin the bristles. Just be very careful when you clean it. All right. And then I think through the design, I'm going to be adding in a couple of these light green stones. It's my crystal will I got from Hobby Lobby. And you get a lot of stones in there. And then at the end, I will either be topping it a high shine I'm not sure, or my matte OPI top coat. I am not sure with this one, which one I'm ending it with. So, but of course you guys seen the picture in the very beginning, so you already know uh, what I went with. So I'm gonna get some of this art done and I will return to show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so I've started with the beautiful green leaves. And as you see, if it's got like that multicolor running through. So you see the cream, the darker greens, the lighter greens. That's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to draw in 
and show you how I'm doing it. And I just want like a bunch of leaves just kind of together, going up and down and different, you know, different ways, upside down, right side up. So I'm just kind of starting in the corner here. Let's see, actually, I'm going to turn my finger around for you guys. All right, we'll start down in here. And I'm just going to go to one angle, go to the other. And some of these are a little longer leaves, and some are going to be shorter ones. Okay, and then I'm going to go like this and add one down in here, just a little tiny one. And like I said, going upside down, going the right side, going to an angle, just to get these all going different ways and different sizes and all of that. So we'll just keep going up the nail and making them different sizes. Put one here, this will just be a small one. And always come to that point so that you see it's a leave. Whether they're fat or skinny or not, just give it that little point at the end so you know it's a leave. So I'll show you another one. We'll go to the next nail and same thing. We're going to just put one down in here and pull it up like that. And this is a painting, so you want them to be the way they turn out. You don't want them to be perfect. Okay, and then I will put one, just a small one right here. And then continue to go up the nail into the French look as well. But just kind of going up the angle of this. Like I said, some of them I'm doing, uh, you know, longer, some I'm doing shorter, some I'm doing fatter, skinnier. Just depends on how I do them, just like that. Isn't that pretty? Let's see, maybe I'll get one more up in here, just a small one, and pull it like that. There we go. So that's the leaves, and I, like I said, if you come up close, you'll see that it's got the colors running through the different shades of that green. So now I'm going to work on, let me go a little bit farther back. Now I'm going to work on the little pink flowers. They're gonna start off in a cream color, and so I will do that first and then I will return. Okay, now you see I've got those beautiful cream flowers. Got some side ones, some full ones with five petals. And I'll show you how I'm doing that over the leaves here. Let me draw in. All right, so I'm working in that cream where I mixed white and the cream together. I mix right in there. That's where I'm working. All right, so we're going to grab some of this. Grabbing the white and the cream together so it kind of gives that that different, you know, look kind of like the leaves. All right, and then we're just gonna come up here, grab it differently, sorry. Just come up here and we're gonna just do a five petal, maybe starting right here. So let me get in the camera. So just go like this and just do a brush stroke and just get yourself a leaf um, or a petal and they don't have to be perfect. These are flowers, so you want them to look like a flower. So make sure you do your petals like that and kind of separating them so they have a little separation between each petal like that. And we're going to do five of them. This one's going to go over to the side, but you can get all five in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You see, I'm just making the lines like that. And then we're going to do one, um, let's see, let's get one down in here. Okay, so just start making your brush strokes like that to make your petal. And then just go like this and like this just to do a side angle one. That's what you want. And just bring your, you know, your petals up like that so that it just gives the illusion of, you know, flower petals. They don't have to be perfect because this is a painting. So like that. I'm going to kind of fix that one off. Hang on. I see I don't like the way that one turned out, but I'll show you here. I I'm fixing it. I'm just kind of going to the angle a little bit more with it and giving it that same as the other flower look. Okay, like that. Then the next one in line, we're going to go ahead and do one there. And this one, I'm going to go right over here and do a five petal. I got a little bit of a glump in here. Hang on. I tried to pull it out, but I couldn't get it out. Okay, that's fine. And then just keep making your petals. Like I, I call these almost my fan flowers like you're kind of fanning it out, but these ones are a little bit more of a different type of a flower that I'm doing. So I'm not sure the name of these. I'll have to look it up what type of flower these are. If you know, mark it down below for me if you know what type of flower I'm doing here. I'm just copying it from, you know, I copy an outfit of the day. So I'm just copying what I'm seeing. All right, and then up in here, I'm gonna do a side angle one over this leaf. So just, again, making the 
petals and this one here will be three or four petals probably just the three yeah just the three there that's how we're doing that so that's what we got going there's the flowers on the thumbs i'm gonna back away here so you guys can see it again but aren't these pretty and then i'm going to be adding the pink in it now around kind of the edges of it just so it gives it that pink look so i'm going to get some done and i will return Okay, now you see I've got that pink just kind of dry brushed in there to the tips, and that's how it needs to be done. So I left two open. I will show you again. Now I'm using that pink right here where I've added in that little bit of tan. That's where I'm working. I'm going to dip my brush in there and take most of the paint off. You don't want a lot of paint on it because you kind of want to do a dry brush, and you're going to use this for every petal here. And just lightly at the top, just kind of do some strokes, just some brush strokes like that, just at the top of your... Uh, flower petals like that so you're just barely getting it on there you know but at the top a lot of times I bring the to the centers up a quarter of the way this way you're doing it at the top so just go like that and brush it in and there's going to be plenty of paint on here to do both of your flower petals on each one so we're just going to get it like that and like that then we'll dip back into the paint wiping off a bunch of it again onto my lid and again so there's not a lot on there and we'll go to the next one. Again, just doing brush strokes very lightly, and this will last for every petal here because you don't want a lot of paint. You want this to be a dry brush look just to the tips of your cream flowers. Just like that, and then go to your other ones, and you see there's plenty of paint. Oh, sorry, hope I'm on. You see there's plenty of paint to do it. You just need that little bit of pink in there. Isn't that pretty and delicate looking? I love it. I love to be able to do spring looks. They're so beautiful. Oops. So, all right, now I'm gonna go through the leaves and add a little bit more cream to some of the ones that are showing. I will get some done and I will return. Okay, now you see I put in some highlights into those leaves and I'll show you how I'm doing that. Draw in. I am just using basically the almost the white to the cream there, but mostly the white. So just dipping into that, and then we're just going to the leaves that I can see very lightly and just adding just a tiny little part of white to it, wherever I can see a little bit of it. That one didn't have too many on it, but we'll go to the next one here. Again, just adding in a little bit throughout these leaves just to give it a little bit of a highlight, and it'll just make it pop more and give it more dimension like that. Okay, and now I want to add a little bit of dark through it. So I'm going to back away here. I'm going to add a little bit of dark into them, just a very little dark, and I will return. Okay, now I've added in a little bit of dark in it too, if you see that, just giving it dimension. So let me show you how I'm doing that. And I made this one here. I just added a little bit more black into the, the lighter green, and this is where I'm working right there. So I'm just going to get a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit onto my brush. And we're just going to go to each one that had the white and just lightly draw in the smallest little dark line you can just to give it dimension. Okay? And kind of go to the side of the white like that. All right, let's do the next one, getting a little tiny bit of paint. And this one will kind of go over to this side. And over here we'll add a little bit there and a little bit there, like that. Now, I'll be adding some of this dark into the centers of the flowers as well. I'm going to do that, and then I will return. Okay, now I've got that dark in the centers of those flowers. Now, remember, I'm copying it from an outfit for Fashion Friday, and I noticed that it needed that in there. So I'm gonna take that same dark and draw in here, and just go into the very center, just getting a tiny little bit of paint, and just in the very center, just kind of dotting that little bit of dark into the center there. And also to the side of this one. And then adding a little bit into this, just dotting it in, kind of stiffling it in there like that, giving it that dimension like that. So that should be good right there. All right, now I am going to do that glitter nail and I will return. I'll get one done and I will return. Okay, so I've got one done there. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I did add a, a top coat. I'm using this one here, the Miracle Gel. 
by Sally and added the glitter right there. Mix it. I like it that way better for this particular one because I used the brush to put it on. So we're just going to get it on the brush here and paint it right on the nail there. I forgot when I'm doing this, I didn't want to do it with the, um, the textile medium for this, only because I'm painting this one on. I didn't have to worry how you know quick it would dry because it's only two nails and I needed it mixed with that clear like that so that I could get it you know like all on with this brush because I forgot I wasn't working with Robin Moses's brush on this one for any of the you know things. But I am going to use the small brush because I am going to add some of this glitter into the nail design so there's not such a contrast of this one being so glittery and the rest you know, not being glittery. I probably should have pulled in closer when I showed you guys that, but look at, isn't that gorgeous? Love it. All right. So I now am going to use Robin Moses's brush and I'm going to add some of the glitter just running through some of the parts of the other nails. That way you get that same glitter. I'll get some done and I will return. Okay. Now you can see I have that glitter just sporadically running through the nails just to coincide with the glitter nail itself. Isn't that beautiful? Now I have left a finger open and I'm using Robin's brush. I will draw in and just show you how I'm doing that. So we just got these two fingers left. We're gonna get some paint on here and start just in this area here and do kind of a, a line going off to the side there just so you see that glitter pop there and just maybe bring one over here, okay? And then I'm just gonna kind of go through the orange just in just some spots like that, just kind of brushing it on, maybe a little bit in the flowers, just a tiny bit just to give it that little bit of bling, okay? We'll do the same thing with this one. Go like this and bring it around just to bring some glitter up to the top here because that's where you're gonna see it the most. And we'll bring it a little bit over there and it doesn't matter if it's thick, don't worry about that because each, each one's a little bit different. Adding a little bit of glitter down here, a little bit through the design, just tapping it and adding that glitter through, through some of the leaves and stuff like that. Isn't that pretty? So now I do know that I'm going to do this one a uh, definitely the shine coat because we got all this glitter going on. And I do believe I won't be adding any rhinestones since I did the dark. I might, but I'm not sure yet. And I might even go with the orange in the centers. So let me decide what I'm going to do here and I will return. Okay, I'm really liking it with the orange in the centers. Isn't that beautiful? That orange is perfect. It's making this orange really pop. So I've just got some glue on a cap. I'm just dipping my orange wood stick and just putting down two little spots of glue, making sure it gets enough. And then I'm just pulling out two of these little orange rhinestones. Okay, got two here to be careful. And set them down into the glue there, but that way you can still see the black behind it. I like that a lot. Okay, and then another one here and there. Now let's get out two more little stones here in the orange color. I'm glad I went with the orange because it's making that orange pop and it's really going to look great with the outfit of the day. I'm super excited for this first um, look for spring. I think it is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. All right, I'm going to let these dry up and then we're going to top coat with the dry fast uh, sesh feet and get it nice and shiny, and I will return to show all of you guys the end products. There's the thumbs. It's got the stones on the thumbs too. All right, I will return. All right, everyone, I am all done, and look at these. Aren't these stunning and absolutely gorgeous for my first spring look? I love them. I love the dimension with the leaves and the flowers. I love doing flowers. It's so fun during the springtime, but I like the way these particular ones turned out and I love it with the orange stones in the middle and I love that I added the orange glitter just kind of throughout them if you look. It just kind of goes throughout them to really give it more dimension and go great with those accent uh, nails that I did. Love the look, excited to be sharing my first spring look with you guys. And also going on to my toe design. So there'll be a toe design on Wednesday to match these. Excited to be starting those up again as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I hope you're all ready for spring. Everybody stay happy, healthy, and safe and make smart decisions. I love all of you very much. God bless and take care.